Greetings everyone, I'm the Chancellor of Soul Mike Boone and you're tuning in to Soul Facts, a show highlighting the history of legendary artists and their music. Is it possible for a lead singer of a popular group to have a reissue hit and then five years later resurface with a different group and record an answer song to his last hit record and make a short comeback? The answer to that musical question is yes. The group Shep and the Limelights resurfaced through the mastermind of James Shep Shepard in the early 60s. But before there was such a group as the Limelights, Shep got together with some high school buddies in 1955 in Jamaica, Queens, and formed the Hearts. Now, unfortunately, there was already a female group called the Hearts, so they had to rename themselves the Heartbeats. Now, for some of you fans out there, this is not to be confused with the 1991 classic movie musical, The Five Heartbeats. These are the actual real heartbeats. After a terrible stint with a local indie record label, App Records, a subsidiary of ABC Paramount, the group was brought to Hall Records, located in the legendary Brill Building on 48th Street in Broadway in New York, by William Miller, who worked at the label and introduced them to the owner, B. Castling, who after they auditioned for her, was very impressed by their vocal styles and signed them on the spot. The Heartbeats recorded four sides for Hull, including one Chef Compose, their fourth release, A Thousand Miles Away, a song about Chef's ex-girlfriend moving to Texas that he still had a thing for. A Thousand Miles Away was the B-side to Old Baby Don't. Now, of course, the jocks promoted Old Baby Don't, but listeners demanded the jocks play the B-side a thousand miles away, which afterwards began to make some noise. Lead singer Shep Shepard was a very egotistical individual and very difficult to get along with. He began hassling owner B. Castling about his royalty payments and among other things. You see, Hall Records was a small independent company that sold mostly on the East Coast. So she decided to sell the Limelight's master and contract to George Goner's G and Rama labels for national distribution and to get Shep out of her hair. Reissue on Rama, a thousand miles away, gained national attention, charting on both the R&B and pop charts. Now, here's an example of the smooth, silky sounds of the Heartbeats 1956 classic, A Thousand Miles Away. You're a thousand miles away, but I still have your love to remember you by. Oh, my darling. Dry your eyes Daddy's coming home soon On my knees every day All I do is pray Baby, just for you Hope you always want me to Daddy's coming home soon It may be on a Sunday morning It may be on a Tuesday But no matter what the day is I'm going to make it my business to get home soon Oh, my darling, 
catch your eye, your eye. Daddy's coming home so thousand miles away the smooth sounds of the heartbeats originally released on the hall label and later reissued on george garner's rama imprint november 1956 shep shepherd grew very very distant from the group and his ego still wasn't easy to deal with one night during a performance in philadelphia Shep fell asleep on the microphone and couldn't go on. So he decided he'd just walk off the stage. And after as numerous of times that he's done this with the group on stage, doing performances in various places, the group decided that they had enough and disbanded in 1959. Shep then opened up a restaurant in the Queens, New York but still had an itching to get back to show business. In 1960, Shep got together with two members of the videos, Clarence Bassett and Charles Bakerfield. The videos are the same guys that made the hit record in 1958, Trick or Trickle on Casino. They decided to form a new group together and called themselves Shep and the Lamlights. Resigned with his former label, Hull Records, Shep composed an answer song to A Thousand Miles Away, Daddy's Home. Daddy was a street term for sugar daddy, coined by the ladies for a sweet talker and a good lover, pertaining of course to their husbands, boyfriends, or lovers. The song was basically about a man coming home to his woman from the war. Now, here's the tune that made the lady swoon. Daddy's home. You're my love. You're my angel. You're the girl of my dream. I'd love Thank you for waiting patiently. Daddy's home. Daddy's home. Do you stay? To be by your side Your best friend wrote and told me You had teardrops in your eyes Daddy's home Daddy's home To stay Daddy's 
song to a thousand miles away daddy's home released in 1961 did you notice in the last portion of the song how Shep mentioned that I'm not a thousand miles away well Shep wanted the listeners to know that daddy's home was indeed the answer song to a thousand miles away he ended it by coming home from the war and his girl got a sugar daddy. Of course, some of you know that Daddy's Home went on to have a legacy of his own. 12 years later in 1973, Jermaine Jackson, legendary member of the world-renowned Jackson 5, replaced the song into the top 10 of Billboard's R&B and pop singles charts, captivating the resurgence music of the 50s and 60s that was going on in the early portion of the 70s. The Limelights charted one last single in February 1962, The Beautiful, Mystical, Our Anniversary. Afterwards, the group would stay together for the next few years until Shep's egotistical and moody ways surfaced once again. Two of the members decided they had enough as well. They disbanded in 1965. Sadly, five years later on January 24th, 1970, just as Shep was about to reunite the Limelights for a rock and roll revival tour, he was beaten and shot to death in his car on the Long Island Expressway, a victim of a robbery. Or was it? He was 35 years old. Sadly, 35 years later, Limelight member James Bakersfield died of emphysema at the age of 68 on January 25th, 2005. The Heartbeats and Shep and the Limelights are the true pioneers of the golden age of doo-wop and R&B. Their legacy exemplifies the true eloquence in the history of American music. Soul Facts, a show created, written, produced, and copywritten by the Chancellor of Soul, Mike Boone. Bye.